Hi, Martin here. Just got myself one of these rib nut tools, uh, sometimes referred to as rivet nuts or nut certs. Uh, if this particular tool came with a great selection of pretty much 10 of everything except for the half inch where you get five. Um, I'll put a link in the description down below where you can get this exact same tool we're going to use today. And then it comes with all the dies for all those ver variety of sizes. And it's both metric and SAE. And the reason I got this, I'm working on my 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee and I'm doing what's called a wire tuck. And that's making some of the wiring disappear. And where it's, I'm doing this is underneath the hood. And what I'm doing is taking the power distribution block where it's got all those main fuses, relocating this to underneath the back seat. Now, the reason I gotta get this tool is there's an amplifier underneath the back seat, factory installed. So I'm going to move that to another location and to remount that amplifier, this tool is going to come in really handy. So why don't we get started? All right, for today, we're going to use the M6, you know, two parts here. First thing you want to do is spin this collar off. Insert the die into here and pull this collar down right here. Just like that. Let that out. Now reinsert this collar. Now this collar is the adjustment as far as how far it will crimp. Then add this collar, this piece right here, to the top. Just like that. Everything's finger tight. It'll work just fine. Now to install the nut cert, take the handles, open them fully. And screw on the nut cert. Now I was saying, this is the adjustment right here. So I could pull this up higher. That allows these handles to open up further. And you're going to get more of a crimp on the uh, nut itself. So the further you screw that in, the handles won't open as up as far. And you can actually see this on the small little gauge right there. It's uh, at about five millimeters right there. What that exactly means, I don't know. I don't know if you set it for the millimeter that you're working with. Now to remove the die and change it out to a different size. Remove this top piece first. Then this collar. Then pull this sleeve down. This is spring loaded. And you'll be able to unscrew the die. Just like that. All right, here in the back of my Jeep here, I've, what I've already done is a fuel tank tuck. I've raised the fuel tank four inches. So no more spare tire in the back. So this just becomes a small trunk area and a great place to mount the amp. Now here's the factory amp. I've already got the holes marked here. There's three mounting points on this amp. And I've also placed a piece of steel underneath between this and the fuel tank. And I'm also using like a drill bit stop on here. So there should be no way I'm going to make any contact with the fuel tank. You definitely don't want to do that. Uh, just in case this fails is why I put that piece of metal under there. So after marking the three spots, I'm going to go ahead and drill this out. And then of course you're going to use the appropriate size drill bit for whatever nut cert you're going to use. You want a nice snug fit.
installed a zerk nut. With those rivet nuts installed and what I did is I ran a bolt up through the bottom side of it so I got basically three studs here um, and that's how it was installed originally when it was underneath the back seat and all that was held on to it was three nuts so now I can just place it in here I use the factory nuts that I came with to fasten this down to show you real quick what it looks like as you crimp one of these into place. I went ahead and took this piece of sheet metal here and drilled a hole, the proper size hole into it and this is somewhat similar to what happens when you do let's say a regular pop rivet. did a great job there you have it I gotta say I'm really impressed with this blind nut set tool uh, I, when, you, when you do this part of it you know the actual movement it is absolutely effortless I mean it, it just does it like butter uh, I'm really happy I got it because I am dumping is something I'm going to be using in future videos and future projects and then it comes with uh, everything you need I'll also put a link down in the description for the refills as well as the tool so please check that out I am an Amazon affiliate by the way you can do all your Amazon shopping through one of those links and the channel earns a small commission that way. I sure appreciate that. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up. That helps out the channel big time. And if you never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there and a little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notified the next time I upload a video. All right. Thanks again. And we will see you on the next one.